Hello everyone I hope you all are doing great I'm really excited about today's video because last week I visited a few local nurseries in Bangalore and I brought some beautiful foliage plants to keep indoors and some beautiful flowering plants for my balcony especially for summer season I'm really excited to share with you what I brought so let's get started The first plant is this philodendron birkin. I am fond of all philodendron varieties and I was looking for this birkin for many days. The moment I saw this plant in the nursery, I just picked it up. It is stunning and beautiful, healthy. I got this plant for around 300 rupees. There are many species of philodendron to choose from. Each variety has beautiful leaves. Just look at this foliage pattern seems like somebody has painted these leaves the detailing is so incredible if you touch it has some texture i love this plant it thrives in bright indirect light indoors it can be kept close to window like many house plant birkin is sensitive to overwatering so water carefully I had made separate video on philodendron care tips and their different varieties. Uh, you can check out that video for more details. This is my next plant, Alocasia black velvet. Again from the aroid family. I am obsessed with aroids. This rare Alocasia cultivar is prized for its almost black velvety leaves lined with silvery green veins and purple underside and compact growth habit. beautiful unique house plant with velvety texture i think it cost me 250 rupees it requires bright indirect light high humidity coarse well draining soil and head soggy soil so i have to water it accordingly i hope it thrives next plant is one more alocasia i think it is alocasia bambino It is really difficult to identify because it is pretty similar to Alocasia amazonica but because of its narrow leaves and compact nature I think it's bambino and this plant is easy to care for compared to amazonica because the leaves are thick and look sturdy so it is uh, hardy and durable compared to amazonica There are so many varieties and you know what is more interesting each one is different from the other nature is incredible anyways i am so excited to have this dainty alocasia i love this plant for its dark narrow arrowhead shaped leaves lined with neon silvery white veins plus its compact growth make it perfect for smaller spaces and shelfies I paid 350 rupees for this plant. This plant prefers medium to bright in direct light and high humidity. So regular misting is recommended to maintain the high humidity around the plant. All these varieties keep away from direct harsh sunlight. Sunlight can burn their delicate leaves. I also purchased this cute tiny cactus commonly known as powder puff cactus. It's coated with this long white spines and the interesting thing is this plant blooms during summer with pink flowers. So I'm really excited to see those blooms in coming days. I have one more flowering thimble cactus that features this creamy white tiny flowers. I think cactus are great addition to the home especially for small spaces or to keep on the window sill they will add bit of desert charm to your space and they do not require much care I got this one for 120 rupees Now moving to flowering plants my first choice is bougainvillea Actually let me show you where I have kept it in my balcony 
Bougainvillea is my first choice to add splash of colors outdoors. It is hardy flowering vines, comes with lots of colors and bloom profusely during summer. I brought two plants with different shades. This one has two different shades of flowers, magenta and white and also it has some variegated leaves. This area receives good sunlight the whole day and I want to cover this backdrop so I thought this would look good here. I paid around 400 rupees for this. It is in nursery bag. After week I will report it in pot. After getting plant from the nursery, don't be in hurry to report them in new pot. Give them some time to adjust to their new home. Immediately reporting could be stressful for your plants. Bougainvilleas are quite hardy, drought tolerant and don't need any special care. Plus their flowers are long lasting. After flowering, I have to prune them to maintain their shape and to encourage new birds. The next flowering plant is this beauty that caught my eyes in the nursery. It is commonly known as princess flower. It produces this pretty purple flowers on lacy foliage as it receives plenty of sunlight. Best suited for outdoor under direct sunlight. So perfect choice for summer. I hope it will thrive happily here and produce many blooms in coming days. I love flowering plants and I like growing different kind of flowering plants. Let's see how it does. This cost me around 120 rupees. Next I brought this jasmine plant. I love jasmine white flowers and their magical sweet fragrance because nothing can alter your mood as quickly as fragrance does, right? It can simply melt your heart and beautiful flowers add tranquil, exotic atmosphere to your space. Apart from this, do you know one interesting thing about jasmine? Those who suffer from insomnia or sleep related disorder must bring jasmine home as the fragrance helps in falling asleep. Jasmine mainly blooms in the summer and rainy season so you can plant them in your garden now to enjoy their sweet fragrance and beautiful flowers. For my railing planters, geraniums are my constant. They are so beautiful, flowers in flushes throughout the year. I already have red, magenta and white colors. This one is light pink. I love this shade. I already shared with you there are two types in geraniums. One grows upward, compact and bushy and has herbaceous branches. And second type is this ivy geranium. It has this railing and trailing branches mainly used for hanging basket and for railing planters. So this is ivy geranium. Apart from these perennials, I also brought some summer annuals because I love annuals. I brought some gazenias, petunias and this, I think this is Phlox pop star variety. It has so beautiful star shaped flowers and it comes in various colors. I always wonder how these tiny beauties, flowers make me cheerful and trigger happy emotions instantly whenever I see them blooming. Annuals are great for small spaces where you want to add lot of bright and showy flowers. They add burst of bright colors to the garden. And they are reasonable but they need frequent watering and feeding. I love growing annuals. They add splash of colors to my balcony space. The one question I always get asked is, from which nursery do you purchase your plants? Guys, there is no specific nursery. From my experience, it is impossible to get our wish list plants from one place. You need to visit many nurseries. I try to visit and get my plants from the Siddhapura area or Lalbagh nursery in Bangalore but unfortunately it's too far for me. Alright that's all guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. 
If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to Garden Vibes. It really motivates me. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Till then, take care and happy gardening.